In this video, I want to talk to you about and show you Neurogen's and Bing's latest product, the Time Worksheets Generator. Now, as you might have guessed from the name, this software allows you to create a wide range of customized time worksheets to your own specifications. Now, the launch for this product starts the 11th of November, that's this Friday, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and then runs to the 14th of November, midnight Eastern Time. Now, during this launch period, each of the three packages on offer are at a discounted rate. So you have the front end at $47 rather than $97, the Pro at $67 rather than $97, and the premium at $67 rather than $97. Now, the front end package you need regardless of what additional options that you want, but the pro and the premium are additional optional add-ons which will add extra content or extra features to the time worksheets generator. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you each package and the features and content included and then go back over all the prices for you so you can make the best decision for you and your business if you're interested in purchasing. So let's jump in with the Time Worksheets Generator front end. Now this is the, uh, the base package that's on offer at $47 during the launch. So let's create a collection. And let's click it to go in. Now what this does is loads a what you see is what you get editor. So if you've used Neurojans and Bing software before, or if you've used Canva, this will be very familiar to you. Now down the side, we have our options. And what I like to do is always start with our settings, because then here we have an option to select our page trim. So this is just a drop down box with all um, KDP preset trim sizes. And you can choose any of them. And the next option is for our page numbering. So we can choose different styling of page number down the bottom, like so. We can choose a different number to start at if we wish. And then we can choose if we want to center this or not as well. Go back to no numbering. But perhaps the most important feature here is the ability to set our page margins. Now, depending on the size of the book that you create, you may need to edit these margins here. So what I recommend you do, particularly if you're unsure, is go to the KDP website and on there they have a table showing you the minimum margins that you require depending on the length of your book. In this example, I'm going to stick with a default and then I want to show my page margins. This way, when I'm creating, I can ensure that all the content stays inside my margins appropriately. So now we've got our page set up, let's jump in and create some worksheets. So down the side here, I'm going to click here, Time Worksheet Templates. And then this will load up the following screen, which will list all of the different types of time worksheets that I can create. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, there's a wide variety of different ones that we can create. In 417 in all. And then what we can also do here is we can search for a template or we can filter. So if you know that you want specific types of um, time worksheets to the hour, half hour, etc., or analog or digital clocks, etc., or a different answer block style, you can click on here and it will just show those types of uh, time worksheets. So let's jump in and create one. Let's just choose a random one here. Now, when you select the uh, template you want to use, 
This will load it into the editor, like so. And then on the left-hand side, we have our settings. So our first settings is our rows and our columns. So basically how many um, of these puzzles do we want per page? So for example, you wanted to add some content up here or below, you may want to decrease the amount of rows, in which case you just click here or type in there and click update and then we'll update here. And then this, we can move around, drag up and down. And as you can see, it can snap to the center, either vertically or horizontally as you wish. And also our margins as well. I'm gonna line this in the middle and then at the bottom. Now our next option here is we can choose uh, our grid item width and height. So that's these items here. We can change the width of them like so and the height like so as well. Just drag that back up again like so. And then in addition to this, we've got options to change our row and our column spacing. So that's the gap in between um, our puzzles here. And now we get on to editing the actual um, puzzles themselves. Now you can literally edit every single element of this clock. So from the uh, clock size, obviously you can make them bigger and smaller. You can tweak the, the size of the hands, so the hour hand length how thick you want it to be as well. You can change the coloring. Exactly the same with the minute hand as well. You can choose whether the clock hand is rounded and whether or not you want to show the arrow on the clock hand. And if you do have the arrow, the size, and of course the arrow style as well. And then after this, we have our actual clock customization. So we can change the, um, the outside thickness of our clock. We can change the color. We can change the inside thickness, the color there as well, the inner edge thickness, and again, our color there as well. We can change the size of our center radius, whether or not we want to show the ticks around the edges. And then if we do, what sort of style we want, whether it's a line or dots. And then obviously we can change the size of our major ticks. So that's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And again, the thickness and the color. And then we can do exactly the same for the minors. So that's the in-between times around there. Again, same with the thickness and the color. And then we have options to show if we want our hour numbers or not. So we can turn them on or off like so. And again, if we have them, we can change the color and a padding and our dial color. So once you've um, customized your clocks and there's a lot of options there, so you can really take your time and make some nice, unique clocks. Our next option here is for our index. So what this is, is if you can see here, our um, puzzles are named one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. We can choose whether we want to display this or not. And then if we do display it, we can choose a variety of different options how we display it. So at the moment it's one and the bracket like that, you can have it like this or circled or just with a dot, completely up to you. We can choose, again, a margin for this, a start index as well, by default be one, the size of this as well, like so, and then the size of our font underneath here. So we can increase that a little bit. 
and again the color of this. We can choose our answer area type. So at the moment it's a circle, but you have a few different options here. You can have a box, a line, or just none at all. And if you are choosing um, like a line or something, we have the option to choose the thickness of our lines and the style of the lines as well. So dashed, for example, or dotted. And again, the color and the padding and the um, area distance from the clock and any padding on the analog text side, like so. And then what we can also do, if you wish, is we can trigger um, our solutions. So if you just update there, it will show you the solutions to these uh, particular puzzles. So once you've created a page of, um, of puzzles that, that you like, we can then go into the editor itself and we can add some content. So for example, you could add a title, and then we can have various options here. We can center it. Obviously we can drag and drop it, move it around, align it change our different alignment options, bold, italic, our font sizes and our fonts, which is here. And as you can see, there is an absolute ton of different fonts that you can use. And again, here we have an option that we can choose a different color as well. So what you can also do with these is you can actually change the font size by clicking on them here and changing the font size here like this as well. That's another option for you. And again, you can change the color like that also. Now, once you've completely happy with your setup, what you can do if you're creating multiple um, puzzles of a similar type and you want to keep all of your styling and your formatting, what you can do is clone the page. So you just hit clone page here. Now what this will do, it will do an exact clone of your previous page, all your styling, your formatting, your puzzle types, but the puzzles will be generated again so that way the puzzles aren't duplicated. Now, as you might have seen here, I have two puzzles that are on the same page that are uh, have it both have exactly the same solution. So a nice little feature that you can use is if you notice this when you go through it, you can just right click and click regenerate cell data. And then that will just regenerate that puzzle for you so that it's not duplicated. And you same here again, eight and eight. So I can just regenerate here. But as you know, as this is an hourly one, obviously there's um, only so many unique solutions that you can have. There we do, there we go, that'll do nicely. And now if you want to create um, a different type of puzzle or different set of puzzles, we can just add another page here. And again, we can go back to our um, templates here. And then let's do, let's just have a look down here. What else have we got? Let's go for this type. And then the process is exactly the same. You have all these many different customization options that you can completely edit the clocks and the text and the fonts, etc. all the way down. As you can see, the process is exactly the same as before. And then what is a nice little feature I want to show you as well. Let me just add 
another blank page is if we click here, elements, and then clock, what we can do is obviously the um, puzzles in the templates are specific times. What we can do is we can make our own unique puzzles here. We can set absolutely any time that we want. And then what I'm gonna do if I click Control C and then Control V, I'm duplicating that. And then let's change that. to another time. And then what you can, you could do for example, is you could do a, a problem such as, you know, the school bus normally arrives at 8.16. Today, it arrived at 8.30. How many minutes late was it? So that's just a small quick example you can um, use this feature here to create your own sort of custom um, puzzles but again having the full benefit and the power of the drag and drop interface and being able to customize your clocks using the settings here and again you can easily copy with Control c and paste with Control v on your keyboard now, once you have your complete book or your completed worksheets, what you can do then is hit here and this will preview our solutions. And then we have our solutions there. So we go back now and then we have our solutions at the end there. So once we've done all that, all we do then is hit download and then we have three options in the front end. We can download as a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. Now, you can import these file types into most uh, software such as Canva, Photoshop, etc. If you do want the ability to download as a PowerPoint file, you will need the um, OTO1, which is the pro um, package and then second thing to note here is on the front end you only are able to download a hundred um, hundred complete completed um, worksheet books as you were a month if you need more than that or you know unlimited then again you'd need the uh, pro version so now I've shown you the front end, which is $47 in the launch. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you both the pro and the premium package at the same time. Now they're both charged at $67 in the launch period. The pro adds a ton of extra features and the premium is a ton of different illustrations and assets and borders that you can use with commercial rights if you wish. So as one is a bunch of assets and the other is a ton of features, what I'm gonna do is show you um, at the same time. So let's jump in here. I'm gonna click on access now. Let's create a collection here and click on it. Now again, as I said in the uh, front end video, when you click the collection, it will load up a what you see is what you get editor, which you'll be extremely familiar with if you've used Neurogens and Bing software before, or if you've used software like Canva. Again, I'm gonna just briefly, quickly um, go to settings and I'm gonna set up page size, and it's a list full of KDP trim sizes. Again, exactly the same as the front end here. Um, I can set my page number in, whether I want it to be center aligned or not, and what number to start at as well. But perhaps most importantly, 
here is the ability to set my page margins. Now, in this example, I'm going to again stick to the default, but depending on how large the um, book that you create is, you may need to increase these. So if you're unsure on the sizing, do check out KDP's website because they have a table and in that table it shows you the minimum margin sizes that you need depending on your page count. So I'm going to hit show page margins here and I'm going to hit update. And then now I've got my page set up, let's head in and create some time worksheets. So again at the top here I'm going to click time worksheets. And again, if I scroll down here, you'll see that again, that there's an absolute ton of different time worksheets that I can generate. And there are more different types than in the front end version. So if I go to filter here, you'll see there's a few more different types. For example, we've got elapsed time, we can do a 12 hour, 24 hour conversion, addition and subtraction. And again, we can ch check on any of these or search the filter and find a specific uh, type of puzzle. So let's do a, let's do a different one this time. Do elapsed time. And let's just choose one here. And so, Again, the experience is exactly the same here as the front end. We've got an absolute ton of different options to customize. We can change the amount of rows and columns, and then we can change the width and the height of them as well. Wider, drag that back in. Again, with our row spacing and our column spacing, size of our clock as well, a little bit bigger, our hour hand length and our thickness, the color and again, the uh, minute hand length is made it slightly shorter and the color, whether the clock hand is rounded or not, the arrow and again, the outside and inside of the clock, center radius, the tick, um, size, thickness, and color. Again, you'll recognize these, all these features from the uh, front end. Again, a ton of different customization options to make sure that your created puzzles are unique. So once we've done that, we'll click update. And then let's resize this slightly. Maybe I'll take row off. So, and then drag it down. Now with the um, OTO1, that's the um, Pro, and that's the, the first optional add-on after you've purchased the uh, front end, you now get the ability to upload. So what you can do is upload images or assets that you have, and then you can import them, drag them and drop them here, move them around, manipulate them to create, you know, different stories and really help um, kids buy into the puzzles. Mm -hmm. And also what we have as well, which is an additional feature on uh, OTO1, is that we can bulk clone. So if you remember on the front end, we had the ability to clone, but we had to do that one page at a time. Here, we have the ability uh, to do that and then simply type in how many versions of that page we want. So for example, if we wanted 20 pages, hit clone, and then that would create 20 pages exactly the same, the same styling, same formatting, but of course would regenerate the puzzles each time. As you can see, if you go down, 
we have now 21 different pages um, with our puzzles on. Now what I'm going to show you now is also on OTO2, that's the premium package, you get access to a wide range of different illustrations and borders that you can use with full commercial rights in your created um, books. So for example, we could add a border and then we, if we just delete the border, let's make these smaller. And then we'll go back to our border again. She's still a little bit too big, a little bit smaller. And the border, like so. And then you could use assets here to make a story. So, for example, Here you could write a story, for example, John likes to take naps. Um, can you work out the length of nap that he takes every day? And then the total length of the naps over four days or over a week, if you had seven problems here, you could have these times and then have to work out the duration of the nap. And then at the bottom you could put, can you work out how long that John has napped for in one week, all things like that. And again, you've got tons of different assets here, tons of different borders. And if you go in here, there's lots of different images that you can use. And all these images are with um, OTO2. That's the premium upgrade. That's the second upsell. If you just want to upload your own images, then that's OTO1 and that introduces the feature here where you can upload your own images and your assets. And now because um, we have OTO1 um, here under download, this also introduces download as PPTX, which of course is a PowerPoint file which is not included in the front end. So if you do want to download as a PowerPoint file, then you need to get OTO1. And again, with OTO1, there is unlimited download. So with the front end, you are restricted to 100 downloads per month. Whereas um, with OTO1, it's completely unlimited. So you there is no limit to the amount of downloads you, you can do in a month, whether it's one or a thousand, it's completely up to you. And then down the side here, if I just create a blank page. Again, we have the ability here, as I mentioned in the front end video, where we can create our own custom clocks and again modify them as well and we can sort of use the benefits of creating clocks in here but we can have our own custom times and we can create our own custom puzzles with them for example you could create two clocks and say like the example i used in the front end if the school bus normally arrives at this time but today it arrived this time, how many minutes late was it, for example? And again, you could then fill that out with a ton of different assets. You could put a school bus on there, the kids waiting for the bus. There's tons of ways that you can make some really interesting and really, really good um, time worksheet puzzles with this software. So that concludes my overview of um, the time worksheet generator. I'm at the end of this video, just coming up in a second, I'm gonna put a screen with each option that you have 
the pricing and the features that each package has. So do take your time, pause it on each one, have a little look, and of course, rewatch this video to make sure that if you're going to purchase, you get the package most suitable to your needs. And then finally, just before I do that, I wanna let you know about my bonus. So if you do use my affiliate link to purchase this software, again, I'm running the awesome bonus that I run last time, and that is that you can choose any piece of my software minus the puzzle generator. So that is the maze generator, the Sudoku generator, Neurokabi, uh, the Mega Pack, any of these software minus the puzzle generator, you can have for free. It's as simple as that. There's no conditions on you must get all the packages to get this because I want to ensure that if you are purchasing, you're not buying more than you need just to get a better bonus. So no matter what package that you purchase, you'll get that bonus. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you and here are the screens.